I take it you've already got uh, Lord Lord of the Bin bag. I might think of ordering Curse of the Crimson Wheeler Bin and Tales That Witness Peter Scott's Badness as he nearly touched his Blu-ray collection in the bin. Just think, with your new player, you can watch all of your 21 special features bonus discs without interruption. You can sit back and relax and watch all your Blu-ray films until it goes... Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> and you think, oh, that's fucking great. Oh, hell. Well, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Um, if you were right about the Blu-ray laser malfunctioning, and it's a different laser for the DVD player, that would make sense. To why the DVD's working fine and Blu-rays are up. I should say the Blu-rays, you know, um, ended up being part of the landscape. Curse of Crimson Altar, Blu-ray with documentaries and interviews. And, uh... Well, you've lost your copy and a seagull has gained it. <laughs> I mean, if, if I knew they had two different lasers, I should have held on to it because... Uh, you know, I'm looking at discs and... It's not even a blemish of this. I can't understand how... That's why I thought Blu-rays were fickle. I'm sorry. I'm talking about your current predicament. Yes, I'm fully aware what you're referring to. But I'm just... I'm just gutted that I... Oh, Cursed the Crimson Altar. Man. Uh, and the, the blonde sex bomb in that film who seduces... Um, the late Mark Eden. I believe she was the wife of Ralph Bates. Check that out. It makes sense when there's not a speck on the discs when they are knackering up. <laughs> yes. It's nice of you to point that out, the fact that the discs were practically unmarked up from some minor millimetre superficial nick now they're in the fucking dumbed sight yeah so I'll stick to just the one format DVD well I am from now but uh, uh, I was whatever's coming is coming I'm, I was going to hold back uh now with the current circumstances yeah don't get me wrong i like special features but it comes to the point where there's more special features than the film itself it gets a bit ridiculous um one prime example is the lord of the rings well the lord of the rings and the hobbit box set jesus Oh my god, how much that cost me, excluding the theatrical version of the fucking Sainsbury's. <laughs> I should have stood, I just would have held back and just got the middle of collection on, on DVD and um, problem solved. The best thing about it is, is that... Tales that witness madness, for example, the Blu-ray version is no different than the DVD version. But twenty-five quid down already with the theatrical version of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Uh, might get I think eight quid back, so minus eight quid on that plus. Uh, what is it, 50 odd quid it cost me for um, the extended versions 
managed to come down by about eight quid from my first shot. Then the two cheap replacements that I got off eBay to replace the ones which I thought were faulty, which means you lose the lovely elaborate intro screen with the voice held by Gandalf and the tour of the house. Brilliant intro. Well, it's like it eventually leads up to the menu screen where you can scene select special features uh, stuff like that but it's a lovely like virtual loop around the hobbit house with that soundbite but i can kiss good night Werner to uh, at least disc one of um the fellowship of the ring part one and an unexpected journey but so you don't have that on the you don't have that you see on the extended versions downloaded from in my case uh, was it Play Store because it was cheaper than going off of Amazon <sighs> Help me that was an expensive film if things were more settled at this end I, could, I would gladly dip into more my little single targets which you know would help buff up my ultimate collection but as it is at the moment with you know Bush's knee situation and uh, flexifail and all that um, and of course with the situation with the conservatory roof where the part of the lead flashing has come off Probably by the stuff. So, I mean, ultimately, I do need the shelving, which I need to follow up from the furniture shop. Uh, because there's some of my charity shop purchases which can go. I can properly reorganise everything uh, in genre of. Uh, like um, Taken 1, 2, 3, uh, Expendables 1, 2, 3, Predator 1 and 2, all the Draculas in chronological order. You know, so, um, as they, as they have the years as they come out, because like with Dracula, Brides of Dracula is, is not a sequel nor a prequel, it's a standalone film. I think it came after. Uh, Dracula or uh, The Curse of Dracula but the original title was Dracula and on the Blu-ray on, on the restored version uh, which has Blu-ray and DVD in the same box set it has the restored title 